But even in the big factories, accordions are largely hand-built. This summer, I was actually able to visit the Weltmeister factory in Germany, and I had talked with them beforehand. They had given me permission to film and were extremely polite, showed me around, met me at the station, and even uh, took me back when everything was all done. I was there for about two days, and uh, it was really very informative. They had logs with the bark still on them, the wood that apparently has grown within a few miles of the factory. That's kiln dried and then sawed down to make uh, the reed blocks, the bodies of the accordions. All the sanding, the jigs, the whole rooms were full of all the equipment used to do the individual parts of the accordions, like sanding the radiuses. I actually got to see them apply celluloid. It looks like a sheet of rubber when they first pull it out, and I thought it was something that would take hours, and it took all of about oh, five minutes, less than 10 minutes to skin one side of an instrument. After it's applied, there's high spots where it's overlapping and uh, it's bumpy and there might be wrinkles. And so it's scraped down to get a generally smooth finish. And then the next step is to uh, buff it down uh, on a big buffing wheel. It's a couple feet in diameter. Bellow building, uh, I saw that being done. They have been using the same uh, bellows frame for building the bellows for something in upward of 50 years, which I think is done mainly so that any accordion, like parts some instruments made 10 years ago will fit ones that are currently made. So if they get one back for repairs or if someone needs parts, you can pretty much be sure that they'll fit. It was done very quickly. I mean, I was quite amazed how fast they were built, but I think that's only because you're doing them exactly the same over and over. Uh, individually making a set of bellows would be and is a very time-consuming process. <laughs> Assembling the base machine, that seemed to be pretty straightforward. The person had like a big rack that had all the buttons, and I think the, but they, the rack just represented the base machine, so you could just pull one out of each one and just lay it in in layers. <laughs> Watch the tuning done. There was a room where they used an oscilloscope, and a woman sat there and she would tune it and then flip it over and tune it and then go on to the next read. And then she would just go through and pre tune all the reads before they were even waxed in the blocks. And so then the master tuner would, after the accordion was assembled, had a air table that allowed him to uh, play the instruments while the blocks were inside. And then he would uh, spot tune the instrument, do the final tuning on it.